going on everybody, and welcome to part 19 of my playthrough for Pokemon Blue. In the last episode, we were exploring the Safari Zone. During that time, we were trying to find Jimmy, but we couldn't find him. Yeah, we failed. But uh, we did find the Warden's Golden Teeth, which got us a new HM, Strength, which we taught to Tauros. And we got another HM for finding a secret house that we never would have known was there to begin with, which uh, we got Surf and taught it to Gyarados. Now, you probably already noticed that everyone on my team has their official nicknames. I want to thank everyone who suggested a nickname. It was great. And I just want to give credit to those people. I'm just going to run down the list. Zippo was from was submitted from Megasmith. And I chose Zippo. I almost thought about Hot Taco for Charmeleon. But Zippo was kind of more like nostalgia reasons, so... I thought it fit pretty good still. Tetra for... Nidorina because, well, when she evolves, she's a queen, and, like, if you get the reference Tetra, like, from the Wind Waker, you know, Tetra, who was, if not, you know, spoilers, Princess Zelda, it's... It was kind of a mix-up. I didn't get any really good suggestions for her other than, like, Ivy, but I felt that was too generic, so I went with this for mine. For Gyarados, I chose Yoshimitsu, which is from my friend, who, well, even though he didn't submit it, I told him I was going to do it anyways, and I did. And I didn't really get anything else really good for Gyarados, so that's what I decided to go with. For Kadabra, I chose Professor X, submitted by Wise Mimir, and it was also liked by a couple of other people for that suggestion, so I thought that was great. And pretty fitting, actually. For uh, Haunter, and I think this one's very fitting, even if no one else agrees, uh, I got Steve, submitted by The Spawn Killed. <laughs> I don't know, doesn't Haunter just look like a Steve? I'm not sure Gengar does, but I think Haunter really looks like a Steve. And for Tauros, I chose Elo, which is named after one of my, actually probably my favorite Pokemon Wi-Fi battler. And he's a really cool guy and he uses Tauros, so I thought it was fitting. Now the problem is you'll see here with my actual in-game team, everyone is named appropriately except Tauros. Because I traded Tauros from another game, you cannot change nicknames when you've traded a Pokemon. I don't know if this was fixed in later games, but I know it was. It happened in uh, Silver when I played that, and I was bummed. It's just, for whatever reason, you can't change names. So, that's, that's a bummer, but we're gonna... That's half the reason why I put it on the sidebars there. Also, a while back, someone did suggest, like, putting the levels and the names over there. So now that I actually have the nicknames, I can put the names over there. But the levels are... It would take a lot of updating and just a considerable amount of work. Maybe for my next Pokemon playthrough, but not this one. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I thank everyone who submitted the nicknames. I got actually quite a few submissions and stuff, and it was it was fun. I thought it was fun, and I hope everyone else enjoyed it, too. And like I said, thanks to those people, and thanks to everyone who submitted any ideas at all. But, yeah, now that we've had enough recapping in this episode, we've pretty much done almost everything in Fuchsia City, except, you know, I don't remember going in this house, so we're going to go in this house, just because. The Savari Zone's warden is old, but still active. All his teeth are false, though. Uh... What is that, like a fact? Do you like... <laughs> is that on like Wikipedia? Bill's files... Wait, Bill files own Pokemon data at his PC? No one uses PC anymore. Did he show you? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Hmm? You've met Bill? Why is his name capitalized? He's my grandson! You're shitting me. <laughs> no, he, al he always liked collecting things, even as a child. That's not necessarily a good sign. And I love these generic windows. I know it's a small thing to point out, but they look like... Like, if you look at the window long enough, it looks like a book. Anyone else see that? No, just me? That's fine. Same with the generic trees. Like, they're all generic palm trees. Very weird. But, uh, yeah. I think we're gonna finish up Fuchsia City the way I like to finish up all towns, by taking on the Fuchsia City Gym. Actually, there's a sign out here. Hold on. Fuchsia City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Koga. The Poisonous Ninja Master. Actually, I kind of thought Koga next to, like, Brock was kind of, like, the coolest guy. Yo, champ, in the making, Fuchsia City Gym is riddled with invisible walls. Koga might appear close, but he's blocked off. You have to find gaps in the walls to blah, blah, yes. Oh, man, I really did not like this place as a kid. I mean, like, it's pink. I know Fuchsia City is pink, but... Or Fuchsia, I don't know what the really what the color Fuchsia is, but... It's, it's just blinding pink. I can't even stand it. But no, like these invisible walls, I really couldn't see past them. So, uh, let's see. I want to make sure... Yeah, okay, I got Charmeleon up front. Because Charmeleon, for those who don't know, is on the verge of a level that will bring him to his final evolution. Which is actually really awesome. And I know a lot of people... Some people were asking, like, why don't you just evolve Nidorina into Nidoqueen? Because, for those who don't know, I could have done that the second that... 
Nidoran or Nidorina? Nidoran evolved into Nidorina. Yes, I know, I get confused with these names. Which is weird, because I used to know the names really well. I just never said them out loud. But yeah, I could have evolved Nidorina at any time now. Same with uh, Alakazam and Haunter. They could have evolved at any time, but I've been waiting for kind of my team to step up to the next level. Ugh, gotta hate jugglers. I don't think we fought jugglers yet. They actually switch out Pokemon, and it can be not really devastating, but annoying. Not like, it's, uh, you know, he, said he switched out, like, one generic drowsy into another generic drowsy. Ooh, threatening, but no. It's still kind of annoying. But, uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for Zippo, who I'm going to start referring to all my Pokemon as uh, their nicknames as much as I can. But, yeah, as soon as Zippo evolves, I'm going to... So probably the next episode, you'll see, like, a montage of everyone evolving. Now, what is worrying me here is, uh... Nidorina is going to be in... Oh, don't die on me, Zippo. Hold on. Oh, God. Okay, wait, I didn't realize he was low on health. This is what happens. I start talking, and oh god, why are we locked into this? Oh, okay, we're gonna send out Tetra. Actually, this is like, why are there psychic Pokemon in here? That was, that never really made sense to me, because this is a poison-type gym. And actually, I think the gym leader is the only one who uses poison-type Pokemon. And I really do like, actually, this is why uh, Tetra is really good here, because she is poison-type. Come on, horn drill it. Which, why would you do that? Why would you send out a Pokemon just to have another one get instantly KO'd? Ah, uh, that was that was <laughs> I was gonna say refreshing, and it was deep down it was. Uh, recover what? Sometimes like the AI like there's no difficulty setting for this game, but really I mean recover when you just sent out a fully healed Pokemon. Jesus man, and I don't know why I'm using this against him. But I think Ice Beam would be far more effective. Ah, uh, I was completely wrong on that. Let's let's switch out. Professor X, our own Professor X. <laughs> oh man. Um. Actually, this is probably going to do a ton of damage to him. None? Oh, okay. This, this is a pretty tough cadaver. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, um... was just waiting for them to evolve so I could get them all to, like, the same kind of, like, third evolution stage, you know what I mean? And, uh, normally I would cut this, but I'm going to keep talking because I can. And I... This is the last thing to do in this city, and I kind of want to make it, you know, fit into one thing. And before going anywhere else to start something new. That's, that's just kind of the way I am. But like I said, as soon as uh, Zippo evolves, which I'm hoping he'll do in this episode, then uh, the next episode you'll be seeing a montage of everyone evolving. Nidorina actually evolves through a Moonstone. What, what are we doing? <laughs> Nidorina actually evolves through a Moonstone, and Kadabra and Haunter actually evolve through trades. Now, to do a trade, I'm going to have to trade through Pokemon Stadium again, and I'm a little wary about that because if you remember last time, it reset my file. So I'm just a little nervous about it, but hopefully nothing won't go wrong. Nothing won't go wrong? That doesn't sound like a complete sentence or a grammatically correct sentence. And actually, I always felt this gym uh, was kind of uh, not over-leveled, but, like, I was never leveled when I came here. Actually, it's a funny fact that you can actually get the Marsh Badge before getting the Soul Badge. And I suppose there's no real order to do it in, even if this is the order that the uh, badge list intended you to get it in. But I swear to God that you need to do a certain thing we're going to be doing later to actually fully survive this. I am not letting him go down again. Super Potion. It was mildly effective. Dude, he is kind of beating us up. Ah, oh, Hypno. Hypno's a pretty tough Pokemon. Uh, when Zippo really doesn't have anything that's uh, really effective here. Actually, I don't have anything that's particularly effective against Poison types. Well, I do have Kadabra, but like he, these guys have uh, Psychic types. It's really weird because this is a Poison type gym. I don't really get that. Every other gym kind of followed the code, you know what I mean? Like Cerulean have water. Brock had that one guy, and uh, Surge had Electric-type Pokemon, Erica had Grass-type Pokemon, but this is just weird, actually. Ember! Actually, I probably should have used Counter in retrospect. It would have done a lot more damage. Oh, man, Zippo, you are lucky today. And I thought about teaching Swift to Zippo since he was my only team who could... The only team? My only Pokemon who could learn it on my team, but um, I decided against it just because I have his moveset kind of planned out in my head. Oh, oh, come on! Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I thought he lived on by one health. Oh, it's gonna be a super potion spam. Thank God they don't use super potions. Seriously, I wouldn't have this much trouble if we did something else we could have done by now. I just did want to do it because I kind of had my own plan set to do the game in a certain order. It's kind of the order I usually do it anyways. But, oh, God, I like the challenge here. Semi like the challenge. Go, Yoshimitsu, I choose you. Yoshimitsu. <laughs> Oh, uh, if you don't play Tekken, you wouldn't get the joke. I have a revive. I'm cheating. <laughs> and it's okay, because I'm the main character. 
Um, let's use a super potion before we bring him back out, because he's gonna come out and get KO'd by like a psychic, which is annoying. It's very annoying, actually. As is getting poisoned. Um, let's switch back in, because I want him to get the full XP. Actually, then it's gonna get mish mashed up? Mish mashed up anyways, because I already sent Gyarados out. And by Gyarados, I do mean Yoshimitsu. Slash! Yeah, I can't wait for Zippo to evolve, because he's gonna have some good moves. And I really wouldn't put all these guys on screen, but um, I really wanted to get this level up. So I think we'll fight one more since it's optional, and then we can go right to Koga. And yes, I probably could have like sped up this episode more, or cut out things to get to the next spot quicker, but I figured up we'd just wrap up Fuchsia City like this. There's been a lot of explaining with my team and stuff, and I really never intended to do that, but uh, I just kind of wanted to not keep people in the dark. Like, someone who's actually, you know, actually following would like see something inconsistent, like considerably inconsistent. And be like, hey, what? how did this happen? You didn't explain it. I don't know. I'm just the kind of person who likes to come out and be honest. I'm not big on lying. That's just not something I do. It's not my style. And my attack fell, huh? Well, I'm going to skull bash you. <laughs> what do you say to that? Oh god, he has slash two. And it's more of a power because he's a ground type? I don't know. No! Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, super potion. Thank god I bought so many of these and I'm going to be buying more before I leave again. I hate sand attack. Does anyone else hate sand attack? Anyone seriously who's played this game, it really bothers me. Come on, Zippo. Like, it, it, it super lowers accuracy. Really? Like, three attacks and we're not gonna attack? Watch this. Nope, missed. Oh my god. I can't stand that. I hate sand attack. I really do. No, no, don't get him. We need to get him leveled up. Actually, it's funny, because I have a rare... You know what? You know what? I wasn't gonna do this... Because usually I like to make things seem very impressive. Maybe no one's noticed, but I just kind of like to be that kind of guy who's like, Hoo-ha! Magic! And then everyone's like, Oh, wow, how did you do that? And I'm like, Magic! And then people are like, No, seriously, how'd you do it? And I'm like, Oh, well, it wasn't that impressive, actually. And then my, like, scams are exposed, and I'm not really the magician you think I am. Kind of like this guy. But really, here's what I could have done a long time ago. And it might be, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe should have done it in the beginning of the episode. Rare Candy. It also brings them back to life. If you uh, ever didn't have a revive on you, a Rare Candy will actually give them 2 HP. That's kind of interesting. Zippo grew to level 36. What? Zippo is evolving? What are the odds? <laughs> Who saw that coming? Oh, right, I spoiled it in the beginning. Zippo evolved into the Charizard. And don't worry, he does keep his nickname when evolving. So yeah, now we actually have Charizard. How awesome is that? And he's uh, considerably more deadly now, so uh, I think I'm going to heal up at the Pokemon Center and meet you guys back at Koga for the final showdown of Fuchsia City. Okay, and we're back now for the final showdown with Koga, who is a ninja. Fwahahaha! <laughs> a mere child who dares to challenge me? Very well, I shall show you true terror as a ninja master. You shall feel despair of the poison and sleep techniques! because that's how ninjas talk. And actually, I thought Koga was always kind of a badass. Koga sent out coffee. Now, I switched up the order of my team a little bit here, just to... I, I don't know, I feel like being ballsy, so... Horn Drill. I actually am just going to spam Horn Drill until I get him. And I might never get him, but I'm going to try it anyways. Because actually, I want uh, Zippo for a fight later with his actually main. Like, if you haven't noticed, every gym leader has a main, like Brock had... Yeah, nice! Oh, it's so cheap, and I love it. Brock had uh, Onyx, Misty had Staryu... Surge had Raichu. Erica had a uh, Vileplume? Vileplume. No one really remembers that one's name. The emo Pokemon. Horn Drill! Uh. And uh, Koga actually has a very cool Pokemon. Well, we already encountered it before. It's not the coolest, but it's, it's I like it. I almost consider it for my team, but it's not a particularly good Pokemon. Uh, nothing's going to be effective here. I know no PP left. Let's switch out to Professor X. Type Advantage. <sighs> Evasion noob. Psybeam. Oh, yes, it hit. So, come on. But yeah, if you notice the levels here, like, I've, I've uh, honestly battled every single trainer, even if it's not on camera, up to this point, and Koga is still, like, considerably higher than me. Not super high, but considerably higher. It's just, when I get to the place we're going to be, I don't want to spoil it yet, even if everyone knows where it is. I'll point out where we could have gone to train. Not really train, I suppose, but, you know, get level ups and stuff. But, uh, we could have gone there, but we didn't. Because I'm stubborn like that. Psybeam. Whoa, yes. Alright, Tetra grew a level. Not that it really matters. 
Koga's about to use coughing. Will you change Pokemon? No, I'm not stupid. I have type advantage. Koga, however, is stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He has some generic coughings. Oh, awesome. Professor X growing up in levels. We... Oh! Coughing doesn't... I mean, um, Koga doesn't have the Pokemon I thought he did. I'm thinking of another version of the game. I guess his main is Weezing. I thought his main was Venonat. Or a uh, Venomoth, it is. But yeah, actually Weezing's not a bad Pokemon at all, and I wouldn't underestimate Weezing, except I have type advantage here. Heavily have type advantage, so I don't need Charizard like I thought I would. Zippo. And by Charizard, I mean Zippo. <laughs> Still getting used to the nicknames. Roman defeated Koga. Humph, you have proven your worth. Here, take the Soul Badge. You also received a lot of money for winning. <laughs> Yay, Pokemon slaves for money. <laughs> now that you have the Soul Badge, the defense of all of your Pokemon increases. It also allows you to do surface out of battle. Ah, take this too. Room receive TMO6. TMO6 contains Toxic. It is a secret technique. Over 400 years old. Really, do you have to talk like that? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't think he'd turn at that time at that. Alright, so, uh, yeah. That was easier than I thought it would be, because I honestly thought he had Venomoth, but I didn't actually <laughs> research this part of the game as much as I thought I would, and my memory didn't serve me right. However, TMO6 will serve me right, because Toxic can be taught to... Uh, Tetra. Actually, it can be taught to anyone, which is a kind of a cool move, but Tetra is a sub-poison type, so... It just gives her type advantage. And I've been waiting to get rid of Poison Sting, because Poison Sting is honestly a useless move, but having poison on your side is a really toxic, will instantly poison an enemy. It doesn't do any direct damage, but it will poison them. And I think it gets more and more... Poison-tastic, is what I was gonna say. Like, it does more damage over time, increasingly becomes more and more... Damage-related? Well, I'm going to stop talking now because the episode is ending. But uh, yeah, like I said, I thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed Fuchsia City and all the little problems we went through and everything. But uh, yeah, next time we'll be starting up in a new town and everything. So that's going to end it up for this. I'd like to thank everyone one more time for all the nicknames submitted. It was great. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will catch you all later.